David is a property developer we've worked with on a few projects now. It's actually a similar style house to what he did last time. Starting at the front of the house, he has double door entrances with the screen above. We did a lot of work with him to design this front screen. We wanted to ensure all the lead would line up across each of the windows. It's a really grand entrance to arrive home to. It sets the tone for the rest of the house. These windows in the front are um, floating mullion casements. They still have a post, so they look like the windows below, but when they open, the post isn't connected to the frame at the top and bottom. Around the back, he has traditional French doors opening out onto a balcony. We worked closely with David and actually went to our structural engineer to do calculations for this. And being a bay with a balcony above, we needed to make sure that David put the correct steels in place. We need to make sure everything is correct and it needs to be right for him. So if it's something we're aware of from the start, we can plan accordingly. He has a pair of three leaf folding doors looking out to the garden. When they're both open, they're neatly tucked on either side. He did a really nice detail inside with timber liner and architrave. He actually ordered additional paint from us to keep all of the uh, internal timber matching. He chose to finish the windows with antique lead. We always use the aged lead so that it already has the desired color. Newer leads tend to discolor and don't really look smart until it begins to age. It's slimmer than glazing bars, so you get more light, but you still have a bit of interest. If I have to choose my favorite part of this project, I love the back of the house, big time because I know looking out of that balcony onto the paddocks and the lake is just really nice. And it's been finished really nicely. And all the little details internally and externally make this home something special.